You know, you know, since I'm here, I do want to mention this before anyone else. I mean, might as well. I mean, this is like a, something I don't have to really... I mean, if this... Just in case, if you, I ever gonna include this, you know, I mean, might have to. <laughs> I want to start like start like some of the stuff that I wanted to mention is on the last stream. That I totally forgot about that. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't like Tuesday or something. Was it on Tuesday or was it on something else? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> I think it was Tuesday. I think. Well, um, I forgot to mention that the whole little exp like little mini story that I was gonna mention this certain one, but I never got to because I just wrapped it uh, up. For random reason, forgot it, and uh, yeah. So, you know how you often like when you of often go to work. You know you're not having like a nice day and all that stuff, like a, a solid day. You know you're like, okay, this is nothing special though. Well, that day on Monday, I actually was at, or on Monday was it Monday or I don't know. What was it? I think it was some. I'm pretty sure it was last week or something. I actually had a coworker that I meant to mention this at one, but then again, it's not really an important story, but it might as well just for the future. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, it looks like, um, I just want to share with this, like, the fact is, like, it's a very sad, but, like, kind of, like, something that can happen often around the world, so be aware. Um, so I had a, wor <laughs> a coworker, or not really a coworker, but then again, I don't know much about her. She and her friends, two friends, um, they usually often appear, like, I don't know when they often appear, just to, to just do it out of thin air, I guess. And I met this little uh, girl, <laughs> I'm not sure who, she, I don't know what, her, I don't want I don't want to upset her name or anything like that, so I'm sorry, I don't, <laughs> forgot your name, I'm so sorry, please don't be mad, and of course you have to bring that up. Of course you have to bring that up while I'm talking. Anyways, <laughs> well, I'm getting a little triggered. Um, yeah, so I gotta work, and you know, usually that stuff, you know, that like you know, average days and stuff. And the little coworker that uh, <laughs> I think she was a different, she came from a different country, and because um, she's uh, started uh, you know sucking a little bit Swedish, you know, like how I casually goes <laughs> different country people. Um. I went there and I was like, okay, let's just, uh, I mean, I might as well have a little nice little conversation and, you know, and I think it was in a day when I was, you know, you know, um, I think it was, um, what's the word called, um, not shuffle, <laughs> I was, um, removing snow out of, um, I was removing snow, or like, remove some snow on the path outside, it was like, a lot was snowing a lot, and then I was like, <laughs> I was basically at uh, this little, these two co-workers that uh, I'm pretty sure sat next to me, or at least that's when I sat down. Um, I don't know why I was trying to press them or something, I don't know. <laughs> but that's not something I'm, I'm trying to flirt for them or anything like that. I just simply just wanted to... I guess that was just my imagination, I don't know. But either way, <laughs> uh, I went there, I was like, okay, well, hello. I, I, I was like, well, I'm, that was pretty easy. I think, I'm not sure if that was the, actually what I said. I think <laughs> we just I just went there and just sat down. Tried to warm up, and then the girls came like, "Isn't it cold outside?" And I'm like, "Well, no, not really." And like, "Is it cold?" And I had to like look confused. Like, like I, they looked at me like, "Is he serious?" And like, obviously, I wasn't that cold. I mean, okay, it was actually pretty cold outside. I actually, we're really just trying to pretend that I'm doing it. We're just trying to. <laughs> I get a little amazing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That uh, yeah, I don't know. That was unnecessary, but yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I basically uh, I just was a solid uh, cold, but then again, I could easily be warmed up. I mean, usually it takes with me a few minutes, and I, my ability, I guess like, that's what I, my my little situation I'm not sure what to call. You just randomly I can warm up that quick. I don't know why they call uh, what happens, but that just happens. Um, but basically, I uh, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to just sit there, try and warm up, and then this girl was like talking to me about some stuff. And uh, I even started started to talk about her, and it turns out she was also looks like she was talking with someone, especially one of the uh, friend. I think it was uh, someone who, on her phone as well. I think it was not. I don't know what, when it was happening this time. Um, <coughs> I think um, if I'm mistaken, and I already forgot which one it was, which one because I was talking. Um, basically, um, this um, coworker 
I think I'm just gonna just remove this bruising. I don't know why, but uh, whatever. Um, but I, oh yeah, I think it was co-op actually. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, I was doing a conversation to talk about her uh, her days and the, what she do and who she really talking to. And turns out she had a boyfriend. You know, like average average girl. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. Especially me. <laughs> but <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm all right. But um, basically, it. Uh, Turned out it was a, something that I kind of got a little curious about this girlfriend slash boyfriend situation. There were two different uh, people from living in two, two different countries, and um, they were starting talking to each other. I'm, I'm pretty sure they haven't seen each other. They were just talking, doing a like, they're doing like this. I think it was like a blind date, almost like <laughs> not blind date, but like more like a just a social um like. Like, like lovers, I guess you could say. I don't know, but they were like, <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they were interesting each other. However, their reunion or their how they where they live, especially his her boyfriend. Like usually, they, I think he were, he lives on a like I don't know where he he lives. I'm not gonna just guess randomly and offend the country of it. So I don't want to just take a big risk here. But I do want to just let you all know if this is false, please forgive me. <laughs> But I think it was a Muslim. Muslim? I, I'm not sure how. <coughs> I don't know if that was the per, the guy or the girl or the, the my coworker. Were. I don't know which one was it. But it turns out with the, the boyfriend live or the guy who was his boyfriend. Uh, turns out he was uh, he had a, it was a country where somehow um, where the place where you can't be. I guess you the girls can't like what like work and they have to like what, like pay more boys more. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> like I said, I'm just <laughs> taking predictions, just random predictions. That's not totally true, but turns out they had to pra like train each other, practice, and talk about some stuff they can't do each other. You know, like obviously, like you know, stuff like we all know we need to do. And turns out his boyfriend also has been doing a little bit <clears throat> stuff that I'm gonna not say anything. So I'm not included. You just have to take your prediction, imagination, what have what is it about him. Um, <clears throat> And uh, <coughs> these two had to be uh, be pr uh, practicing a lot and talk about some things and you know like what they can do obviously like I said and um, obviously yeah, well, I was like nice I mean that's nice I mean you have a boyfriend I mean that's uh, nice I mean you have at least have a I mean you have someone you really love <laughs> truly right <laughs> except for the part that happened. On Monday, that I was kind of, you know, doing some. I mean, I was doing some talking and uh, talked about some stuff that can help her, and you know, the fact that yeah, when they do arrive and meeting each other and stuff, you know, being a, like being, you know, apart, like being a pair, you know. Um, I was like, <laughs> well, you need to first of all know what he like. I mean, first of all, you need to ask him what he likes. Something that you can't uh, just tell her to right off the bat, you know, that stuff. And you need to like, like, here's the thing, he, he can't obey, like, he can't just like, order you to just do the thing like that way, you can't like, no, you have to do that, no, you can't say that, no, you can't do, you, you're just not allowed to do any of that, any of that, <laughs> like, I was like, even say that out loud, even almost, I said like, dude, or, is this really your boyfriend, like, for real, like, this is your hu future husband, and you're gonna let him do the decision? And I basically told her that uh, she has to take her uh, person, uh, her actions in serious if this is going to be her her, boy, her future bo uh, boyfriend. And I was like, <clears throat> you know, I was like, I was thinking it was, uh, obviously nice and obvious uh, questions and you know, conversation stuff like that. I don't know how, it went, how long it went, but <clears throat> it went well all the way till Friday. Pretty sure I'm not sure what it was it again. Um, but then the big plot to has happened. I'm not sure how, how the whole story happened, but turns out, yes, people, this story is not as a happy ever after. It's not like a happy ever after from a fairy tale or anything like that. It uh, <clears throat> turns out it's a, a more depressed one. So, um, her boyfriend that she loved. Turns out, had already been engaged with someone and been lying to the co-worker that crushed her, I'm pretty sure. 
that's what I think she said at least. I don't remember too much of it, but yeah. And that was like, <laughs> like I even I, even I have to hug her out to just like, just like let it all out. Okay, I mean, I mean, okay, that was like just, I'm just cruel. But then again, if he has to understand the reasons, like if you really truly love someone, you have to be honest with each other. You can't just like go out there and just like just and be like. Be my girlfriend, be my boyfriend, but because that's what I want. Like you have to like, have a good connection with each other. You have to just go out there like, oh, <clears throat> well, all right, I like you. I just want to be uh, liking you a lot. That's all. Or like, no, actually, you know what? I don't like you anymore because you don't look as pretty as this uh, boy or girl. So uh, I'm gonna be just leaving you. Just that's it. So um. Yeah, it's not how it works. I mean, if you really truly love someone, you have to be honest. You have to be like close to each other, or like you have to be close to connecting with each other and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's why I was like draw the line. Almost, I was like, okay, that boy has never been ever been happier in his life, but he can't do that to a coworker like mine. All right. Besides, I wasn't even supporting her. <laughs> I was like, you know what? If you have, uh, if you need help, I'll support you. And even if uh, if you need some uh, like if you need me to talk without something, if you want me to say something, like if you like want to talk it out, like what happened and stuff like that, I always be there, you know. But <clears throat> you know, often you do not want to often talk like out of the bat, like right off the bat, obviously. So like you can't just like go out there and just like like um, you're like. Please, okay, talk it out through. Like, let's have a talk. Let's just uh, have a connection already. Or, not connection, but... <laughs> that, does, that does not work. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Erase that thought. Okay, erase it. I've never said anything. <laughs> but, like... Like, you have to actually... Like, do you really love this person? Like, literally, it's like... This is how, like, even, like, people in church. Like, those priests, I'm pretty sure. I don't know who they usually go with the... I think it is priests. Oh, priests. <laughs> but, um... Like you, like they always say, like, do you take this uh, beautiful? Do you take this girl to be a wonderful girlfriend or something? And then you know you have to like be very, very honest with each other. But he has been engaged way back, but he just been trying to like, I guess, either sort of like prank her or like pretend that she doesn't have he doesn't have a girlfriend and just want to just you know feel it along, or get a, like a weird connection to her. And that is whatever I call. Like that—that's something that is a lot, a lot, um, <clears throat> a little bit, um, like just, it's just not right. And the fact is, like, you know how you usually, you know, go ahead and post stuff. Obviously, like <laughs> this guy, even her, like my coworker, even posted something on, I'm pretty sure, whether like Instagram or, or like, well, I don't know what, what exactly, snapshot or something like that. Even he said that he wanted the the uh, photo to be removed immediately. Obviously, she had to even have to do it, but. Uh, <clears throat> That felt like something that all men just want to be erased, just uh, they don't want to be involved, be their connections, or they have, she doesn't have like evidence and stuff like that. Maybe that's most like, most likely why he just doesn't like, you know, want to be a part of something in a in a app or something. Um, but it's just rather cruel and rather just it's just not like that. That's that's something you just can't do to a girl. Like, it, you you just broke her heart. And all that just so you can say, "Oh, I already have a girlfriend." I'm, I'm, I apologize, but yeah, that's just how it is. Like, come on, dude! Did you really seriously went all through that and just like, "Oh, well, looks like I, I'm sorry, but I already have one, so you can't do anything about it." And I already have engaged, and uh, you know, it's 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 already a thing. So uh, yeah, it's just it just wow. You deserve to be in prison at this point. I was like, bring this man to jail or prison or something. <laughs> and especially because, like, even her, like, she didn't even know this at all at the beginning, like I said. And I'm pretty sure even her, even, like, her, this boyfriend's engaged girlfriend even noticed this, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he, her, she did notice Miss, Miss Engaging Girl. I don't know. I'm not going to give them names or anything like that. And, uh,. Yeah, just, uh, it just, that's just how it went out. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, maybe the girl, the, the this engaged girl and this boyfriend is like, like, she just randomly uh, just went her, like, just 
went through his like I guess his her entire like his like phone calls and her friends and maybe she, he just sadly just like looked at uh, one of her, the his pictures and turns out it was his, his uh, this little girl that she he really liked for some reason I don't know <laughs> kind of like feels like he just want to just do that for just you know <clears throat> that stuff that I'm not gonna say and the fact is like he did all that just for the next time I mean, he even like they haven't I actually don't know when or how long they've been even together I think he was they were together like a few months or so but then obviously then they just that just went wrong after the next uh, t uh, the next thing happened like he just all oh, right no no I'm sorry I already have been engaged so I can't be married I can I can love you but I can't marry you which I think it's kind of just like okay what does that mean? That makes like how? Like, and the fact is, like, she never felt like this, like, sad. I mean, like, obviously, like, when I was there, I was like, obviously, I had to do something about it to help her out feel better. But then her little ex, uh, her little, mi I mean, then again, I can't really say here. She, uh, my coworker is an ex girlfriend to this boyfriend anymore. I mean. <laughs> I mean, they haven't been even been gone up through a date much. I mean, they've just been meeting each other for online, and then say like, "Oh, we're just we're just like we're just uh, boyfriend and girlfriends and stuff like that." And you know, <laughs> obviously, like I said, they haven't even meet each other in real life, so obviously they don't really. I mean, we can't be concerned ourselves, you know, be real that, or be like certain that you know, they are two lovers at the moment. They just been practicing each other. See. They have to like learn uh, one way wrong, one way is right, one way is wrong, and uh, one had to uh, <laughs> tear everything to pieces. So uh, yeah, it uh, was rather uh, rather depressed uh, moment when I heard that. And honestly, I feel like like that's just, that just went quite some adventure that I just don't want to. Like I just rather just like you know you know what I'd rather do. I'd rather have. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna regret saying this, but for for most likely, be honestly, I'd rather have her as my girlfriend. Which weird, yes, it sounds a little bit weird to say it out the other way, but listen up. If she had to have like she was alone, she needed to have a boyfriend at some point. Let's say like I mean eventually we have to have a gauge thing. Like partner, like you have to have a maybe we can all be like one boy, one girl, and we can have the the same you know gender moment. You know, I'm not gonna really say much because we all know what it means. And uh, yeah, it just, I mean, I can, I mean, I also need it. I mean, I'm also even, I am even single, obviously. So obviously, I can obviously probably accept that, right? I mean, I'm even 20 over around too, so yeah. So, I mean. If you have a boyfriend to just crush you, I mean, I'd rather have someone to tell the truth. I'm an honest person. I like to tell the truth, and I'd rather not keep it a secret. Okay, I'd rather not say anything for hidden. I like, I've never been a liar, right? I've been always been saying the right things, even though it is like, like keep it a secret. No, like that's all I am pretty much good at. So, really, I just like can't like. I just felt like it, like, when we were talking right off the bat, I'm pretty sure it was, like, Friday, obviously, like I said, somewhere around there, I knew the, noticed this boyfriend was even, like, trying to, like, get, like, get this small connection, like, small bit, but realizing that he just wanted her, like, out of the way, like, she was, like, not, like, out of the way, but, like, he just, like, he just trying to get, like, like, get this lovey dovey going on, but he's just like not as much interested too much of her because he he doesn't want to get like too close to each other, which well could be working. But then again, if you're a boyfriend and a girlfriend, and if you guys are obviously you guys and girls are on a date, obviously you should be fine with like getting close to each other, which would be alright as long as you have the rights to ask your parents and you know all that stuff and you know that you should be good to go, you know. But having someone that just like pushing you out of the like. Your like your pastors is like, nope, sorry, you can't have like you, sorry, but we can't have that right now. We can't talk about it right now. We have have my reasons and you know that's that. Like, 
you know you're saying it right off the bat. You're saying it to your girl that you just, just talked through on your phone. And honestly, that when I moment when I heard that, it was like trying to like, you know, you know, try to like trick or like lie this person. I don't know what exactly. Who is this calling my phone? I have no idea. I'm going to turn that off and block it. And um, yeah, it's just like something that I just feel like about this is like, you know, having a, like love and like i'm not sure i'm not sure I'm, a, I'm not a romance person really too much but then again i'm i need maybe sometimes learn it myself you know stuff like that but obviously we all have like things we have to like learn about when it comes to love we all need to know like what's right and what's wrong and if you try to do the opposite likely you end up breaking uh you'll just ruin the whole thing and Obviously, the moment of truth, we all would have found the truth eventually. And especially, I found the truth already. Because, like, <laughs> he just tried to push her away. And then, obviously, I noticed out of the bat, like, it was like I was in a detective mode. Like, just like, hmm, something tells me that this uh, boyfriend of uh, yours is lying somehow. <laughs> which actually <laughs> kind of went through, which is kind of a little bit slight. Only 2% hilarious, but the rest of them just not. But, yeah, it was just rather just something that not people can just go out there and just say that, like, out of the bat. And especially after you're getting engaged. Like, do you actually believe that at some point in the future, about, like, this boyfriend and girlfriend, they just broke up because they weren't that's too connected. And this boyfriend comes in and then talks to my coworker and, like, Let's be a uh, gay, or like, let's be girlfriend and boyfriend. Like, I feel like I want to give you a second chance, you know? I want to still like you a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> that was a good plan. In fact, I think I'm just going to, first of all, start blocking you on Twitter to, and Snapchat or everything and message. And you should also block your phone call because, or phone number, because I am rather not have you as my boyfriend or girlfriend or any of that. Because if you have that type of connection, if you, that is how you want to act to your lovers, nope, I think I'm good, and I am never more, hopefully, ever see you again. So, yeah, I would say never talk with some strangers like that. If the, like, if you want to actually love someone, you can't, obviously, like I said, keep this a secret. You have to be an honest uh, person in your life. And especially for me, obviously, when I, uh, if I were to see someone do that to me, definitely just... Just out. Out of my life. Never want to see you again. Like, don't ever, like, break someone's heart just because you like someone else, alright? And you can't just, just also cheat on your actual girlfriend and go with someone else. Like, literally, you're going literally family guy style, just go quagmire. Just <laughs> You just, like, literally date on the girls, just do everything you want to do, and then... He's like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't love you because, you know, I'm just, I'm just this type of guy, you know? And I'm saying he's not a, you know, <clears throat> that type of, you know, boy mode, you know, that, like, 18 stuff. But, like, I'm just saying he's just, he, he can't just go there around and just go ask girls to just go ahead and be a girlfriend. And then for, like, the first few days and then, like, oh, well, I don't feel like I just find it too connected. So I'm going to just pretend you and then I'm going to find a new one so I can just ditch on the old one and bring the new one. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this little small little speech that I have been through last week around there. <laughs> Especially to, uh, last week to around this week at least. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll put this as a special highlight or not. I mean, maybe I'll put it even in early access. Maybe I will. I don't know. But then again, I might even... But then again, if I will do it, I don't have to put up my... Uh, but then, no, I might... Actually, then I will have to reveal like a small bit of stuff that I've done my my run or this day run. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Actually, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. I'll put this as a special highlight on YouTube right off the bat as soon as I'm done with the stream. And you know, you people have to start like have a little like if, have your thoughts. Like, what would you have if you have like this kind of conversation, like connection, like you just have like this lovely boy or a girl that just. Sadly, love you for a while, but then realizing he, uh, he or she has been having a different uh, type of uh, uh, connection with someone else the whole time and have even engaged and then just says, all right, well, <laughs> I'm going to just be honest and I have already found someone by the back and you have uh, just been 
cute or just nice and that's it I have actually felt too connected and like you and you know that stuff <laughs> which like I even I would have even had to like be like I don't have expressions on my uh, face ring so you just have to imagine that right now but like yeah it's just quite just like this should definitely be illegal almost like oh it feels like if this is the way you want to act for your future life especially if you've done this multiple times they like especially like have you seen people out there have done this like multiple times if you do consider yourself like literally phone call police or anything like that because like if someone does that under like their life like just like oh, all right i'm gonna find a girlfriend and then like all right i found one next few months all right i think i'm gonna go and move on to next girlfriend and yeah that's like i'm sorry what <laughs> so yeah it's not the most amazing and obviously the best story but then you people also have to learn uh, then again and i'm gonna have to okay let me start off with the phrase but it's something you all. Oh, like I almost forgetting my sentence there. But it is something you know, people have to also can also learn the experience of how people will treat you. You want to make sure they treat you nice. It's like they, they, it's like a uh, it's like a family, you know. It's one helps you, the the other helps uh, you you too. Like it's like if I help you, you help me almost. But doing that just like I help you, you don't help, but you're not gonna help me. Or like, you help me, but I'm not gonna help you. That's like two completely different like connection. Otherwise, <laughs> so like, yeah, it's a, uh, it's rather, rather a very, very fortunate, uh, and hopefully it's never gonna be one of those uh, connections ever again. So uh, yeah. And one more thing about the thing I said about me liking her. Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe do I have a chance? Although then again, my my little my body shape problem is probably the one thing she'll definitely dislike. But then again, it was my it's my it's my little connection. Oh, not connection. <laughs> connection. What <laughs> I meant? It's my little. I guess my, not disease or like it's just. It's just how I was born. I was just somehow born at twice as late or something. I don't know. But either way, it's just, I mean, that's how I, I was, how I am. But I am still taking care of my uh, health and stuff. So that's that. But still, it's never been changed. But either way, hope you guys and girls enjoyed today's little small highlight that I might put up as a special thing on YouTube. You were definitely going to be watching this uh, right off the bat as soon as I'm done this uh, little stream thing. I probably will do, do be done about it next few minutes or so and yeah pretty much it say lucky out there people out there in the world and yeah take care of the ones you love and do not upset them or break their hearts because if you do <laughs> oh i wonder where you, i wonder what will happen to you next or the next day. Or the next day. But that's that. Alright, stay lucky out there and take care. <laughs>